Kevin Casey. And I guess, I think, I believe this is week four for the ukulele lessons. So, I guess, to start, I'm going to go ahead and tune my ukulele. So, just as a review of all the strings, the string closest to you is G. So that's what G sounds like. The next one after that is C. And then E. And then A. And then again, holding the ukulele is just, if you're sitting, you could set it on your leg, or if you're standing, then you use the middle part of your arm and kind of hold it against you to where you have your fingers still open. So last time I introduced a new chord, which was F, and I just went over some strumming patterns. And so just to go over these different chords again, the first one we have, C. And so for this one, and I guess before I do this, just as a little review, the way these charts match up with your instrument is it's basically as if you're looking at it this way. So, so where this dot is on that line, that line is the string furthest away from you, the A string. So it's on the third fret of the A string. So again, that's going to be the string for the sway from you. So you're going to take your third finger, place it in between second and third metal bar onto the string to where it has enough force where it can actually make sound. And then strum that all together. That's C. And then the next one after that is F. So for this one, you have your first finger on the first fret of the E string. So and that one note would sound like this. And then you have your second finger on the on the G string on the second fret. And this is the string closest to you. So you're gonna take your second finger and put it in between this first and middle bar of the string closest to you. And that one note should sound like this. And so all together, you're just gonna strum it that's an F. So now we're showing you a new chord and this one is G7. So this one is a little bit more trickier. The C chord needed one finger, the F needed two, but this one needs three. So and again the way this correlates to yours is it's basically as if you're looking at it like this. So I'm going to pause for a second and then I'm going to bring the camera closer to me so I can show you the proper finger placement for this chord. Okay, so to match up with this, so you can see that on the A string, you have your finger on the second fret. So even though this one is on the top, that won't be your first string or that won't be your first finger. Your first finger will actually go on the F. So just like if you're playing an F. It would go on that one. And then you'd have your second finger, and instead of going to this string on the second fret, you're gonna to go to the string just right there. So it's sound like that. And then, so this, this part's a little tricky if like you're brand new, but you basically take your third finger and you put it behind on the second fret of the A string. So you're gonna have it just squeezed in between right there. And that's just sound like that. And so, again, your first finger will be on the first fret of the E string, which sounds like this. And that's right here. And then your second finger will be on will be on the second fret of the C, which is right here. And your th 
third finger will be on the second fret of the A string here. It should sound like that. And then if you strum that all together, that's what it should sound like. And you can pause the video and try to match what I have. I can turn over my ukulele just a little bit. So basically, this is kind of what you should be seeing, like from your perspective. So you're going to have your first finger here, second finger here, and third finger behind that. So here in a second, I'm going to just put down some exercises on the whiteboard, just strumming patterns, but these ones are mainly going to revolve around the G7 because this one is a little bit of a harder, a, uh, harder chord if you're a beginner. So I'm just going to make it, I'm just going to make a few strumming patterns where you have to hold that position and just practice keeping your fingers there. And then I might uh, just add like a few other chords just so you can practice transitioning for the few. So I'm going to go ahead and pulse this. I'm just going to write down some chord patterns that you can do. Alright, so the first strung pattern is basically just all down strums. We've done this before and basically all you're doing is just you're strumming four times. So this, for, so for this you're going to do the G7. So that's first first finger on the first fret of the E string, second finger on the second fret of the C, and then second finger on the second on the second fret of the A string, which is the string furthest away from you. Right. And again, that should sound like this. So for this, basically, I can do it slow, you can do it with me, but it's just all down strum. So I'll go ahead and do a little count and I'll play. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so that's pretty much the strong power. I'll do it again real quick. So, so with the count in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so I'm going to do this just one more time and so for this time, I'm actually going to start on F and then go up to G7. And so whenever you're changing chords for this, your first finger is already in the same spot that it needs to be for F and G7. So whenever you have your F in, in a position, basically all you're going to do is bring your second finger and you're going to move it one string away so that to the second fret of the C string. And then you're going to take your third finger and put it on the second fret of the string for the soy from you. And so whenever transitioning, it's sound like this. And so, so, so I'm just going to start with F for this. I'm going to strum four times and then I'm going to go to G7 and then strum four times. So I'll do a count in and you can play it with me if you want. If you haven't gotten the transition uh, yet, then you can pause this and just kind of practice just trying to like uh, just move your fingers over to where they need to be. So, so with the counting, it sounds like this one, two, three, four. So it's just that really simple. So I'm just gonna do that one more time and now I'll write down to follow. So with the count in one, two, three, four. And so that's basically that chord progression or chord strumming pattern. So now I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna go ahead and write down to follow. So I have the next strumming exercise. So this one we're doing the same chord progression. And just real quick, whenever I say chord progression, that basically means which chords we're switching between. And whenever I say chord pattern, that means the way that we're strumming it. And so I wrote down the chords that we're doing. Again, we're just switching in between F and then to G7. And so for this one, 
the strumming pattern basically goes down, down, up, down, down, up. And the count for that would basically be one, two, and three, four, and. So I'll go and just reminder, I have both the charts here. So you have F and G7. You can pause this for a second if you want, just so you can see it. So, so now I'm just going to go through this a little bit. I will do a little count out. I'll go, I'll go slow so you can do it with me if you want. And remember, we're just starting with F, and then once we do that once, then we'll switch to G7 and then do this once. So for the count it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one. Two and three, four and. And like I've said before, anytime you say and, then that is usually an up strum. And then whenever you're saying a number, then that's usually a down strum. So I'll do this one more time again with the count in. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one. Two and three, four and. So I'm just gonna speed this up just just a little bit. If it's a little bit too fast for you and you're having trouble just switching in, be in between the chords, then you can pause this and you can just try just take your fingers and just kind of just practice going back and forth. You don't have to strum. You can if you want, but mainly just try to practice switching in between the chords. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little count count in and then. And then I'm doing the strum pattern once for F and then again once for G7. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Alright, so I'm just gonna do that one more time for all of these. You can do it with me if, if you want. So with the count again, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three. Four and one, two and three, four and. Right. So with that done, I'm going to go ahead and write down a new or a new chord pattern for us to work on. So. All right. For so for our next exercise, I'm instead of F, I'm using C, and here's what these chords. You can go ahead and pause it and just practice switching in between these if you want. So, with that out of the way. So the strumming pattern on this one basically goes down, 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 up, down, up. And the count for it is one, two, three, and four, and. So, I'm just gonna play this as an example. If you want to play, you can play. So, in total, it would sound like this. One, two, Three and four and one, two, three and four and. And so switching in between the chords. Um, so whenever you're starting on C, basically you're just using your third finger. And so to switch to G7, you're going to take your finger. You can either pick it up and put it down or you can slide it over. But basically you're going to move it over to the second fret. Of that same string so you're going to move it to your uh to your left if you're playing a uh, right-handed ukulele and so whenever you move that there then you can put your two fingers in the in the spot that's supposed to be so look, i guess with the charts so with this on the third fret you're basically going to slide it down to the second fret to where it should be right there. And then while it's there, you take your first finger and put it here and your second finger and put it there. So, so again, you take your third finger and you slide it down. So it'll go from this note to this. And then you take your first finger and you put it on the first fret of the string close of the string closer to you. Not the closest one to you, but uh, the one right in front of that string. 
that's what it should sound like. Then you take your second finger and you put it on the second fret of the next string. And again, in total, it should sound like this. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and do a count in. I'll try to keep this slow. Again, if you can't get the chord, if you can't get the uh, chord progression exactly, then you can pause it and just practice switching between the two. You can go back to whenever I held up the charts just so you can see the two and know how to switch between them. So I'll hit the count in. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. And I know sometimes it's easier saying and, but I know sometimes like that's also not something you have to do. Like whenever you count, just as an example, you can also just not say the and and just strum up in between the numbers. So that would basically sound like this. One, one, two, three, four. So you're basically just not saying the and, but you're strumming where you would have said that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this again. Again, feel free to do it with me. And I'm gonna try to keep it the same speed just so you can do it. So with the count in, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. All right. So I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. If you feel like you got, if you feel like you were comfortable with the speed that I just did, then you can go ahead and try this one. If it's too fast, then you can go back to the other one. And if that's too fast, then you can just pause the video and you could try counting out loud and just strumming at your own pace. So I'm gonna do this a little bit faster, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a counting. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. And then one more time with the counting. So this time I am going to do a count in, but I'm not going to count while I'm playing. So at that speed, so it'd be one, two, three, four. So that's basically that chord pattern. So I'm gonna see if I can write down a different one just for sort on for now. So. So we're gonna end with just a little bit more challenging one. So this one has all the chords. So basically the chord progression from this one, I guess I can try to hold them all out. So basically what it's going to be is you're going from F to G7, you're going from F to G7 to C. So I'm just holding these up right now just so you can see the finger placement and you can uh, just practice switching between all of them. So, so after that, so we've done this strumming pattern before. So basically the down up strumming, it goes down, down, up, up, down, up. And so for this one, just as an example, I'm just demonstrating what it sounds like real quick. So basically it goes down, down, up, up, down, up. And so I know that you see this three in parentheses. Basically what that means is that you're skipping that beat. And so, so like I said earlier, all the up strums are basically and. It's, like it's whenever you say and. And so in between these two, there's no down strum, which means that there is no number there. So it's just, so it goes one, two, and, and four, and. So you're basically just skipping the three and, and all. And so I guess whenever you strum that, you can either let it ring out or you can stop it. And by that, I mean, so in this, whenever you go down, up, up, down, up, that sounds like this, down, up, up, down, up. So on that down, up, you could hear how I let it ring out. 
but then if you want, you can also stop it. And basically what you're gonna do for that is whenever you go down up, you basically just put your hand over the strings and that just stops the sound. You don't wanna like slap it too hard because you don't wanna damage it. Just kind of gently like lay your hand over it. So that'd be down up. And so you can just practice that, just stopping it and just letting it ring out. So I'm going to go through this really slow. So again, the chords, it's going to go from F to G7 to C. So I will say the strumming pattern as I'm doing it. So going really slow right now. So I go one, two, three, four, one, two, and and again this so whenever you're doing it you can just do it all, all uh, straight I know I've mentioned it before in the I want to say it was the first video whenever I did the string pattern I said you could do it in a style called swing which is basically where you draw out the notes and then you play the one after that really quick you don't have to do that with this for this one, you can basically just go down, down, up, up, down, up. You don't have to do anything, uh, you don't have to do this way. And just for example, the swing sounds like this. So we can get to that in a, uh, in a later video, because that's a little bit more advanced. But yeah, so right now, I'm going to start on F, and I'm going to go through this really slow. So, so it goes down down up up down up and then you switch over to the to the g7 and then you do the same thing down down up up down up and then you go to c down down up up down up okay so i'll do it one more time instead of saying the strumming i'm just gonna count so so one two three four, one, two, and, and, four, and, one, two, and, and, four, and, one, two, and, and, four, and. So that's that. So again, I'm just gonna go through this really slow. And you can go back to whenever I counted or said the down up strumming but for this time, I'm just going to, I'm going to do the counting and then I am not going to count or say anything while I'm playing so you can hear what it sounds like so you know if you're doing it right. So with the count in, one, two, three, four. So that's basically what it sounds like in total and and since if some of you are beginners you don't have to switch in between them all that fast just basically go at your own pace you can and it and I know you see me looking at the camera I'm not really looking down to see what I'm doing but that's not something that you have to do like as a beginner it's probably best for you to look down at your hand just to make sure that you're doing it right so I'm just gonna go through this one more time and again, I'm going to do the count in, and I'm not going to talk or anything. And for this time, I'm actually going to go just a little bit faster. So if you feel like you're getting it, then you can do this. So with the count in, it go one, two, three, four. So that is all I had. So I know this one is probably gonna be the hardest one. You can go through and practice all of these, but this strumming pattern would probably be best for you to practice because this one appears in a lot of ukulele songs. So just make sure to practice at home, uh, practice switching in between the chords. You can go back go through all the chord progressions and just try to practice those. Uh, you can practice stopping your chord and basically 
And like I said before, all that is is you're gently laying your hand over it whenever you play. So that sounds like this. So you basically just mute the sound. Boom. And I guess just a little uh, music effect here. Whenever, so if you were to stop this note, the rest, and a rest is basically where you're stopping, like you're resting. So, and that basically would kind of look like that. In music, it, uh, it might look a little bit different, but the best way to picture it is it's a, uh, it's a Z on top of a C. So, that's, that's at least how I remember. But anyway, that was just a little effect. So yeah, anyway, practice, go over the chord progressions, uh, go over switching the chords, try muting the chords, and that is about all I had to play. So have fun, take it easy, don't break it, it's not a toy, and practice.